Okay, this is a Universal Model KZB. It's just your typical super deluxe zigzag. The one of the Japanese machines from back in the 50s and 60s. Um, it is kind of a light lilac purple in color with cream on the top. Um, it does have automatic buttonholer there on the left hand knob. Uh, zigzag and stitch length, stitch width, adjustment, reverse, and three level feed dogs. It is all metal, of course. All these vintage machines had no plastic parts. Bob and winder there on the wheel. It's tabletop ready, or it will fit in any Singer cabinet or carrying case. It shares the same deck dimensions as a Singer. Um, this machine is, I'm going to be honest, it gave me a little bit of tension issues doing six layers of denim because I always run my, my fabric samples through before, um, before making the video just to make sure everything's right and just to make sure all the bugs are worked out. Well, it, 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 um, the tension was off on the bottom and I tweaked and tweaked and it just seems that this machine does not like a thicker fabric at all. Um, it is only .63 amp. So it's not one of our heavier duty machines, but it is a nice, reliable machine that's not going to break on you. It's not going to crack a plastic gear or something like that. Um, but I am going to ask a little bit of a lower price for it because it doesn't seem to want to deal with the heavier fabrics. Now, mind you, I, I can get three layers of denim through just fine. I can get two layers of leather through just fine with no tension issues. And also the, the plaid there is a um, upholstery with a rubber backing. And it seems to do just fine on three layers of that. So it's not a total dog. I mean, it still does a few layers of the heavier duty stuff, just not one what I'm used to demonstrating when I make these videos. We'll start with a two layer sample. Um, it is um, it's a nice smooth machine. I'm using a size 16 needle. You can, lock, you can do creative embroidery using the spring-loaded width knob where, or the, the knob will lock in place with your little center dial. It locks in place. And your zigzag. Like I said, it's not a bad running machine. It just does not seem to want to deal with six layers of anything. And I mean, that is extreme. You know, hardly ever do you really need to do six layers of anything. I'm going to pull the length in and I'm going to do some creative embroidery like I was talking about. And that's where you leave your stitch width dial loose. And then we widen out, narrow, widen, narrow, widen, narrow. And I'm also going to see if I can find a manual for this because I might be able to. And there is the creative embroidery. I didn't let up on the tension. Um, I'm going to look for a manual, and if I find one, I will provide the download link. I don't think I have one on hand. This is the three layers of denim I was talking about. I'm using a size 16 needle. You can't see it, but um, the brown is what I just did, the brown uh, bobbin thread on the bottom, and it's nice and tight and secure on the three layers of denim. couple layers of leather. This is just garment leather. It's nothing heavy or fancy. As you can see, it's pulling that through nicely. And of course, if you're going to consistently work with leather, a walking foot or an even feed foot is a very, very wise investment. And actually, it's not an investment. It's about $15. Very nice stitch, even on the bottom, on the two layers of leather. And this is the upholstery I was talking about. It's woven fabric, and it has a rubber backing on the bottom. And you do get these fabric samples with the machine. So, you know, you can see that this is actually this machine that I'm sewing with. I'm not just making generic videos and putting them in listings. This is actually the machine that you are going to purchase. And this is a left homing needle 
machine, the needle holds to the left. It is a tall shank. It uses class 15 bobbins, 15 by 1 needles. Both bobbins and needles can be found nearly anywhere, even Walmart. Um, and one last thing, we're going to do a delicate. This is nylon, very delicate fabric. Turn a little sideways. But as you can see, it does nicely on delicate. No real tension issues with the delicate. And that is the Universal Model KZB All Metal Vintage Zigzag Sewing Machine.